end result is a little spring like this. Hey guys, Jacques here. So I made my maintain spring mechanism working and started in the clock. So I'm going to try to show a little bit more to you. It's in there, hard to see. There's the spring. Let's have a closer look and see if you can figure it out. <laughs> it was really hard to show. So to test the spring, so that's the spring installed. There's, that's what's at the front of the gear that's in my clock. Pulls on the spring, it's going to be this. Bolt will catch in, in this loop this not the spring tension so I made this jig for testing catch the spring now I have this string and on the string I can put some weight simulate the work in the real clock and that's the weight putting tension on the spring and that will power the clock the time needed for rewinding a minute or two. So when the clock is running normally, there's always tension on the spring. That's why I had to use a steel spring, because it's always tension. 3D printed spring would really not work very long. So the spring is under tension. When I go to rewind, ratchet is going to catch and hold that maintain disc. Then when I rewind, maintain disc spring is still going to power the clock. While I rewind for a few minutes, it will work. And then when I release the rewind, you can see the maintain disc moves out of the ratchet and normal operation goes on again. Well, it's a tricky little mechanism, but <laughs> it's quite fundamental to the work of many uh, clocks and watches. Just as a reminder, it was invented by John Harrison, the one who designed the uh, Grasshopper Escapement. So that was quite an interesting little project. Couldn't find much on YouTube, so hope you enjoyed the video, that you liked, <laughs> that you learn something new about clocks and uh, if you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and i'll see you in the next time in the next one ah, and last thing yeah show the clutch and i turn the hour minute gear it turns the I need to put it in time, it's 10.48 48 Okay, see you next time, bye!